Learning Objectives After completing this module, learners will be able to Discuss the urban life in India Explain the types of urban livelihood Analyze the problems in India Describe the difference between private and government jobs Informal workers on the street A city is a much bigger place than a village. The population of a village can only be in thousands, while the population of a city is in hundred thousand. Population of some big cities can be in millions like population of Delhi or Mumbai. City a city is defined as a place where the main occupation of people is not agriculture. A city usually depends on villages for farm produce. There can be an endless list of occupations in a city. Occupations There are three types of occupation. Primary, secondary, tertiary. In primary occupation, People are engaged in agriculture. In secondary occupation, people are engaged in manufacturing and processing or raw material. In tertiary occupations, they are engaged in providing services. Types of livelihoods In urban areas, different types of people reside and they practice different types of livelihoods. They are divided as factory workers who work hard day and night but are unable to get good salaries. Shopkeepers and businessmen are busy in selling and buying of different types of things. Professionals like teachers, doctors, lawyers, etc. form core of the urban population. They provide services. There are some urban people who practice other occupations like vegetable vendors, domestic servants, garments traders, etc. Informal workers on the street. We came across variety of street vendors in a city. Vendors selling newspapers and people working as auto rickshaw drivers, cobblers and roadside barber. They work on their own. No one has employed them or organized them. Their shops and enterprises are usually temporary structures. The government is looking to modify the law that bans street vendors because it is right of people to earn their livelihood. Types of Livelihood Daily Wage Earner the number of daily wage earners is even higher. Most of the people who do not have any skill have to work as daily wage earners. In many cities, we will find a labor shock. This is the area where laborers converge early in the morning. They are willing to do any kind of work. They may help a mason at construction site. They may load and unload a truck. They may opt for some cleaning job or some digging job. Most of the daily wage earners fail to find work on most of the days. Almost all the daily wage earners are migrants. That is, they have come from far-flung areas in search of jobs. Shopkeepers Most of the shops are owned by individuals. In case of a small shop, the owner and his family members do most of the tasks. In case of big shops, there are employees. Vendors People who do not have a permanent shop are called vendors. They either use a pushcart or spread their wares on the pavement. Vendors also create a nuisance by blocking footpaths and roads. This results in problems of pedestrians and vehicles. So many people protest at vendors occupying the roadsides. The government is working on this issue.
the government is trying to mark some areas, especially for vendors. Care is also being taken to prevent conflicts between vendors and general public. Private and government jobs a large number of workforce works as casual worker in numerous private companies and in factories. Their job is not permanent. Most of them get paid according to the amount of work done by them. Working conditions in most of the factories is horrible. There is space crunch, low lighting and poor ventilation in such factories. The wages are very low. Moreover, the worker does not get social security benefits like pension, medical benefits or leave. Government servants. People who work for the government are called government servants. Some of them work for the central government while some others work for the state government. There are many levels in the government service. Officers make the top tier of government servants. The officers are assisted by a huge number of clerks, peons, drivers, cooks, gardeners, etc. make the bottom level of government service. Benefits of government job The job in the government service is permanent. This means that the worker is assured of retaining his or her job till the time of retirement. The workers get salary on a regular basis. They also get various other benefits apart from the salary. Holidays The government servants gets holidays on national holidays and on important festivals. Sundays are the weekly off in most of the offices. Some offices have the provision of five working days, that is Saturdays and Sundays are off. Leaves The government servant can take a leave in case of some urgent personal work. He can also take sick leave in case of falling sick. For specified number of leaves in a given year, the salary is not deducted. Medical Benefits A government servant is entitled to medical benefits for him and his family members. Cost of treatment is paid by the government up to some specified amount. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A city is a much bigger place than a village. The population of a village can only be in thousands, while the population of a city is in hundred thousand. Population of some big cities can be in millions, like population of Delhi or Mumbai. The job in the government service is permanent. This means that the worker is assured of retaining his or her job till the time of retirement. The workers get salary on a regular basis. People who work as permanent workers, either for the government or for private companies, usually get good salary and secure job. But casual workers do not get such facilities. People who do not have a permanent shop are called vendors. They either use a push cart or spread their wares on the pavement. But a vendor's life can be very difficult. Most 